I am Tess Morris and I am a screenwriter. It feels like I've been in the industry for quite a long time but it's nice after 15 years to be a breakthrough person if that makes sense because it's actually really good proof of the long game how you have to try and stay in it and try and stay sort of tenacious. I write romantic comedies so it's really nice to have the BAFTA stamp put on that because it's often a genre that people don't consider necessarily as they do other genres. Also to have access to people that you've always wanted to sort of meet and get advice from and mentoring that will be incredible. The thing I am looking forward to most as a breakthrough Brit is some of the people that I've asked to meet. I mean I aim quite high so I'm quite excited about the possibility of meeting some of those. I think the Breakthrough Brits is incredibly important because it's such a difficult industry to find your way in, especially as a writer, you know, you're quite isolated in your profession. I decided to be a writer probably from a very young age. My dad used to say, oh, you should write. And also I was not very good at maths or science or any of the other subjects. My route was kind of very different. I became a journalist before I was actually a screenwriter. Through that, ended up writing sort of for soap operas and things, and then that was 15, yeah, about 15 years ago now. My greatest inspiration, probably two people in particular, um, Naira Park and Rachel Pryor, who are big talk pitchers. They really gave me my confidence. They make me believe that I can keep working and making films because they made my film for me and made it brilliantly. So they're a huge inspiration to me. And they're also women, which is great. Well, my dream mentor, in all honesty, would have been Nora Ephron. I would have loved to have met her and, and asked her about When Harry Met Sally and, and Silkwood and all the other films she wrote. As it sort of stands now, I'm a big fan of Callie Corey, who wrote Thelma and Louise. What do I love most about my job? I like that I can make people feel things. That's a very important thing for me. When you write comedy in particular, it's a very nice feeling when you're sat in a cinema and you can hear people laughing and they're strangers that are laughing and not people that you know. So I find that incredibly rewarding. The highlight of my career without a shadow of a doubt is being on set for most of the making of my first feature film. I don't think I've ever actually been happier. So um, that, for, yeah, hands down. I've just made my first feature film, The Survivalist. You know, it's a small independent film and I rely on the support of organisations like BAFTA and, and schemes like Breakthrough Brits to try and raise the profile of the work I've done. It's a really eclectic group. I was really impressed with the diversity across all film, game and TV actually and that's probably the word that um, comes to mind the most.